All right, so in the last episode, we taught you how to get the UI image picker view up and how to be able to get your camera to start taking photos that you can put into the image view. So you've already got a photo taking app in your hands if you have completed the last two lessons. Now in this lesson, we are going to get some image recognition done. So it's gonna be really, really exciting and we're gonna be tapping into IBM Bluemix in order to classify our images. Now you might wonder what's happening with the unicorn outfit, but it's actually really cold in London right now. So uh, yeah, you're just gonna be taught by a unicorn today. Sorry about that. So heading back into our app where we left off last time, we're just going to change that camera back to our saved photo album so that we can actually test it quickly in the simulator. Um, and the other thing that I want to do is and now we're going to be tapping into the visual recognition uh, framework. So I need to import it here. So I'm just going to write import. I think it's called visual recognition V3. And we are going to need to add in some variables. So the first one is going to be your API key. So I'm going to write let API key equals a string. Now inside those quotation marks, you have to put in that API key that we saved from lesson one. But if you can't find it, just head back over to your Bluemix dashboard and um, under services, Watson, you should be able to see the, the service credentials, which is what you need. So once you've added in that API key, the next thing that you wanna do is to create a constant called version. And this version is simply going to be a string that contains today's date. So today is 2017. 05, uh, 19, and that's all you need to add there. All right, so now we are going to scroll down to uh, our image picker um, delegate function, the did finish picking media with info. And after we have picked an image, then we are going to type below this line after we've dismissed the image picker. Here, we are going to create a visual recognition. And this is going to be set to equal visual recognition. So capitalized visual recognition. And then we're going to open a set of brackets and we're going to choose the first one, which is the one that takes an API key as well as a version. So the API key, of course, is that key that we've put in here. Make sure that yours is not empty. Um, and is the actual one that you got from the IBM Bluemix dashboard. And the version is just simply today's date. So here I'm going to type API key to insert that variable in there. And the version is version. So we now have a visual recognition engine. Now, in order to make it work, then we simply write visual, you select the one that is not capitalized, or you can give it a name that differentiates it better. Um, but it's essentially this one, which is a local variable called visual recognition and dot classify. And we're going to choose the one that takes an image file um, and gives us a success message back. Now, as you can see, this image file is expecting a URL, which we don't yet have for the image that we selected but we can tab over to success and you can just hit enter in order to get Xcode to write in that little bit of template code. Now at the placeholder where it says classified image, we're just going to call this classified image, images. And the part where it says code, we're just gonna delete so that it doesn't get angry with us. Now we need to fill in this URL. We need to get the URL of the image that was picked. And it takes a few lines of code to do that. I'm gonna show you how. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to compress that image. So while we're showing the full sized image on our image view, we don't want to send uh, 300 megabytes of data over to Bluemix. So we're gonna scale it down to maybe only 1% of its original size. So in order to do that, we're gonna use a method called uh, UI image JPEG representation. So I'm gonna write let image data equal UI image JPEG representation, hit enter. And the image is of course this image that we've picked 
and the compression quality is a CG float. So it is a floating point number and I'm gonna type 0.01 to make it just 1% of the original size. Now, in order to turn that image data into our URL, we first need to get a URL for our document directory. So we're going to create a new constant called documents URL and it's gonna be equal to file manager dot default dot urls for document directory and in dot user domain mask dot first and we're just going to unwrap that because we know that it definitely exists so basically that line of code simply gets us a URL to our documents directory and we're going to add our image and send it over to IBM Bluemix. So the file URL is going to be equal to documents URL dot appending path component and the component that we're going to append is let's call it temp image dot JPEG. Okay. So now we've got a file URL and now we need to write that image to our file URL. So to do that, we're going to write dry using the image data that we've got. We're going to uh, write to <coughs> <coughs> um, and the URL is going to be the file URL that we've already created earlier on. Um, options, we're going to leave it as empty. <clears throat> and then remember that line that we created early on where we are using the visual recognition to classify an image file. Now we can finally specify the URL of that image file, which is of course going to be our file URL. And upon success, it's going to return us an object called classified images. I'm just going to type print classified images. There we go. That's the one we want. And we're going to run our app on the simulator. So let's head back to our trusty iPhone 6. All right, so our app has loaded up. We're gonna click the camera button to select one of our images, um, say this one. And that image is showing up on screen aspect fill. And if you look inside your console, you can see that that print statement has generated us um, all of the classifications that Bluemix has returned. So it's telling us that this could be a bird pepper. I don't know what that is. Or it could be plant. Okay, so that's pretty good. So that was 75% confidence that it was a plant. And it could be a lemon, which, yeah, I'll, I'll give you lemon. I, I'll give you lemon. I think that's possible. Citrus, probably because of the yellow. Yeah, tree. That's pretty true. Now let's try that with a different photo. Let's try it with this one. See, what does it think that one could be? So we've got our so we've got our classified images back and it says that it could be a beach possible okay or it could be a rock which yep i think that's pretty pretty spot on cliff i see cliff too so as you can see we've created a image recognition app with very few lines of code and how long did that take us? Maybe five minutes, 10 minutes to do? It's incredible how you're able to tap into a pre-trained neural net that is able to recognize the images that you present it with. So we're getting very close to completing our app. In the next lesson, we're simply going to polish it up a bit and we're also going to check to see if this array of results that we get back from IBM Bluemix contains the word hot dog so that we'll be able to tell our user if it is a hot dog or if it's not a hot dog. So stay tuned and I will see you on the next lesson.